guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys what I feed my hamster. It is the same diet I've been feeding my hamsters in the past and it's my favorite diet to feed because it's easily accessible and it's a well-rounded diet that is healthy for hamsters. But before I get into what I feed my hamsters, I would like to quickly tell you your three options for feeding a hamster. Um, it's not super specific. I could get a lot more specific into the species of hamster, like specifically for a dwarf hamster versus a Syrian hamster, but just in general, this is what I recommend. You can make tweaks to it and change the seed mix to a better one if you have a dwarf hamster, etc. But your first option when feeding a hamster, if you weren't aware, is you can technically make your own seed mix, but this is not something to take lightly, and this is what I don't personally recommend it for a new hamster owner nor for myself like I don't want to do it now but in the future if I have more time and resources then yeah I would do it but for now it's not for me because I don't have the time nor resources to do it but you can make your own seed mix by buying a bunch of the organic healthy ingredients after doing extensive research and then mix it together and you have to make enough and you have to make sure it's well rounded and I just summarized it but I have researched it and I have attempted it and I just I don't have time to do that again right now, but in the future I'd love to learn how to do it properly and a lot of hamster owners do this because it's easier to make sure that you're seeing each ingredient going into it that's organic and healthy and more reliable than a pet store brand or something like that. Your second option is a small business such as a small business on Etsy or eBay or something like that that makes their own organic healthy hamster mix or food mix or whatever you want to call it and this way you're supporting a small business and you're also getting that healthy reliable mix for a hamster which is better than most commercial seed mixes however this can be more pricey with less quantity when you're buying it because it's a small business but that's no reason not to support them especially if you don't have any other options and you can't make your own I totally recommend this as well then the last and final option that is like known to me, there's probably more options, but these are my three recommended. The last one is buying a commercial seed mix and mixing it with a commercial lab lock. And that's what I do. A lot of hamster owners do this and it's recommended for beginner hamster owners and also just hamster owners in general that don't have the other two options easily accessible. So what is recommended and what I do is mix Higgins Sunburst seed mix, which is a low protein high variety seed mix that I totally recommend and my hamster loves it along with the Missouri lab locks for mice and rats which is a high protein lab lock and together they make a very good diet for your hamster and I totally recommend and I'm not going to get into too much more detail about what hamsters need nutrition but that will be a separate video let's get right into my schedule and the other little things I feed my hamster and if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I appreciate all of you guys. Let's get right into it. This is the tripod. She's beautiful. She can extend a lot higher, which is perfect because when I film my hamster cage or my leopard gecko cage, I can extend this to its full height and then you'll get a much better shot. And I'm, I'm feeling professional, guys. Except for it's not very mobile, but that's okay. But she's, she's really sleek. He's not up yet, but when he gets up, I'll show y'all. But this is a cute little food bowl in case you're new. It's like, it has carrots and radishes on it, and he loves it. It's so cute. I got it like Petco, I think. So cute. And this is his veggie plate. I'll get him some kale and cucumber in a little bit. You can also freeze any seed mixes or lab locks to keep them fresher for lab locks and to remove any insects that have gotten into the seeds if the bag was already opened or if you have any other concern about mites and things like that. Just like you could freeze bedding in the freezer for like 24 hours, 48 hours to make sure there's no mites and to kill any that are in the bedding. So first I get two teaspoons of this seed mix, Higgins, and I do this every other day. Real quick, I forgot to mention, I feed my hamster every other day, if you didn't already know, and I feed him two teaspoons of his seed mix and like a half of a handful of his lab locks, and he takes both full days to eat all of it, which is why I feed him every other day and that amount. Basically, just watch your hamster and see how much they're actually eating and monitor that, and once you find out the amount that they can actually eat and to make sure that they're not eating too much, obviously, it should be one to two teaspoons, no more, no less, then you can keep with that schedule. So he gets two teaspoons of this lovely mix that he loves. The only bits he doesn't eat in this mix are the like fibrous pellets, which aren't my favorite if I'm gonna be honest. And the little, little seeds, which is normal for Syrian hamsters. They don't like the little seeds. That's my only complaints with this um, mix. 
So now we have all of his food in here and I scattered this around in his cage, which I'll show you in a sec, but let's go ahead and get his lab lock. So as I said, I just grab him like less than a handful and I kind of eyeball it because I don't have a measuring thing for this. And that seems like a bit too much. Then I will take out a few and just make sure that he has a good amount to keep his protein up and to make a happy hamster, but that looks good to me. I've talked about this before, but I do feed him different forms of animal protein that you can get that are for different animals, such as freeze-dried organic mealworms as a high protein animal protein source, which you can find in the reptile section. And then there's the freeze-dried organic chicken treats for cats, which are good for cats too, but they're really good for hamsters in small quantities because it's another animal protein because hamsters are omnivores. These are what I feed my hamster from time to time. And then this is a new one. This is what I got recommended to get for my hamster moose from his ethical breeder because this is what she feeds her hamsters. This is technically a Canadian treat or a Canadian brand, I'm pretty sure, but you can get it off of Amazon for a decent price for a really good quantity, um, especially since I have one hamster. And they were just called Grandma Lucy's Organic Dog Treats, and then you really want to get the pumpkin ones because these are hamster's favorites, and they're really cute. They literally smell so good, and they look just like teddy bear grams, and hamsters devour these. I did technically just give him these last night, like two, because it's his first time having them since he was a little pup, and I swear he was so happy. But I'm gonna give him another one just because he's super cute today, but I might like break it into pieces and scatter it around, and then I'll not give him another one for like a week or so just to keep them as a high value treat because these are healthy treats. Also, I know this isn't like feeding technically, but I do change my hamster's water bottle and water bowl every single day and i clean it out like every other day at least his water bowl and his bottle like every time i change it which is every day and this is really important for a healthy hamster so i do just scatter around the seed mix and then i put his lab blocks in this bowl so i'm gonna do that off camera and i'll be right back But now we're going to feed him some mealworms, but I've said this in previous videos, I just give him a few around his cage and in his bowl. He really does love his mealworms, which is surprising because I've had past hamsters that hated them and loved the chicken. But he loves mealworms and he's like pretty like, I don't know, unbothered by his chicken. So yeah. Now I'm going to go get him some kale and cucumber, which he gets every single day. And then he gets an extra fruit or vegetable or maybe a little piece of pasta or hemp seeds. Well, I I'm actually going to give him hemp seeds today or something like that every other day. But on days where I'm feeding him his mix, he just gets kale and cucumber, maybe some hemp seeds. We shall see, so I'll be back with that. I would like to really quickly withdraw my last statement. I usually do give him just kale and cucumber, but today I'm gonna give him cucumber and some bok choy because it's high in water, and it's just a delicacy for him because I don't always have bok choy on me. So I'm gonna give him that as his like leafy green for today. So let me cut this all up and put it in a bowl and wash it, so yeah. Okay, so he just ate one of those teddy bear grams, um, but I didn't get it on camera because I had you guys set up over here, but that's okay. And it's so much easier to show you guys him now that I'm not like having to hold my camera or phone or whatever. So I'm really happy about that. But yeah, if you're new, this is my hamster moose. I think he likes the tripod, which is a new addition if you're new as well. Um, He's a very good boy, as you can see. But he wants to go put all of his food that's in his pouches away. So I'll put him back in his enclosure. But yeah, that's what I feed him. He's a hefty 202 grams because he's a big hamster from Strong Breed Hamstery. Which is normal for ethical, ethically bred hamsters. But yeah, he's trying to tunnel into my arm. Hi, sweet baby. Okay, I'm gonna put him back. He's a bit rambunctious. So that's how I feed my hamsters. They really love it. He'll come back and eat his food. He just wanted to pouch all his other food and his teddy bear grams. But if you want an even cuter video of him eating his two teddy bear grams that I gave him yesterday, go check out my shorts, because I just posted a short about that. Guys, I'm still getting used to this tripod, but look. Wait, that's not- that's- So without further ado, this is the end of today's video. I know it's a shorter video. Next week's video should be much longer because it's going to be on all five of my pets and I'm super excited for that video, so stay tuned. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, and comment down below if you wish to. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I can't